Do all fairy tales really end happily ever after? Today we'll be looking at fairy tales and how they blur the lines of reality. Like all stories, fairy tales were created to entertain the reader. However, this is their secondary purpose. Unbeknown to many, their main purpose is to teach the audience a valuable lesson in a unique way that they will remember forever. Charles Perrault was a French author credited with laying the foundation for the fairy tale style of literature. His most famous works include Little Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, Puss in Boots, Sleeping Beauty, and The Blue Beard. Fairy tales have evolved over centuries and are very common in today's society. They are not only read to children at home before bed, but they are also introduced at elementary schools and are even being turned into movies with real people portraying our children's favorite characters. When listening to fairy tales, children are affected by their contents, mainly because their imagination is still developing. The effect that fairy tales can have on a child's emotional, physical, and mental development should not be overlooked. Most people are very eager to expose their children to these short stories. However, we should examine their content more closely as they may be taking a toll on our children. There are a lot of hidden messages that people overlook that are in these stories. Fairy tales are very old and they've actually been around for roughly 350 years. The plots that are associated with fairy tales are still based from this time frame and do not align with the current times. This causes conflict because some fairy tales are not relatable to today's society. The majority of fairy tales are based on a cycle also known as the hero's journey. The problem with this theory is that most of the journey does not apply in real world scenarios. We'll be taking a closer look at the hero's journey on the next slide. The hero's journey is separated into two sections. The top portion, called the ordinary world, are real life processes that occur in everyday life. On the other hand, the lower portion, the special world, only occurs in fairy tales. You may have noticed that the special world takes up roughly 75% of the hero's journey. The special world section of the hero's journey is not realistic and may create confusion for children in the ordinary world. Let's take a closer look at some of the other messages that can be received from fairy tales. In most fairy tales, the woman is usually portrayed as being helpless and trapped in a castle awaiting her rescue, typically being guarded by a villain or a dragon, symbolizing an overprotective father. Do we see any women that are waiting to be rescued before starting their lives in today's society? These are all some pretty popular princesses that come from well-known fairy tales. What we are overlooking is the message that could be received from these fairy tales. We have to be aware of what is hidden in our children's favorite stories. This psychological disorder, also known as the Cinderella complex, is derived from the fairy tale Cinderella. It is described as a woman's fear of independence and her desire to be taken care of by others. Fairy tales have brainwashed young girls into believing that you must get married in order to have a successful life. In today's world, women are expected to have the same opportunities in life that men do, such as going to college securing their dream job in their field of study, joining the military, etc. Women are no longer expected to wait on a man to take care of their needs. Studies also suggest that fairy tales may cause females to struggle with self-image issues. 
Fairy tales normally emphasize great looks as being the most important feature of princesses and princes. Alternatively, they also tend to ostracize ugly characters. This can cause females to feel uncomfortable in their skin, especially if they do not look like the princesses that are in the fairy tales. On the other hand, it also teaches young men to only fall in love with someone who is pretty or that they must rescue a woman in order to be with her. We must teach young girls that Prince Charming is not going to come rescue them one day and that they should take charge of their own lives. Additionally, it is also important to teach young boys that it is okay to pursue a strong, independent woman and not a damsel in distress. So what happens after the seemingly perfect couple rides off into the sunset? Relationships require effort from both parties in order to sustain themselves. I'm pretty sure some of the fairy tale couples may have ended in divorce, but for our children's sake, we will leave out those details. Fairy tales may actually increase the occurrence of nightmares due to some of the disturbing scenes that are present in them. According to the Daily Mail, a whopping one out of three parents reported that their children cried when the big bad wolf ate Little Red Riding Hood's grandma. We must always take into consideration that a child's brain is still developing. Fairy tales have been known to blur the lines between fantasy and reality, and many children struggle with this since they tend to consider fairy tales to be the truth. We cannot overlook the negative aspects that may be in some fairy tales. Parents should always be proactive and look through a fairy tale before exposing their children to it. We must remember that a young impressionable mind is powerful yet fragile as it can be easily corrupted.